Coach, uh, end of another season here. Now that you've had kind of some more time, a few more hours to, to reflect back, uh, what, uh, what do you make of the way that this team progressed throughout the campaign? Uh, well, there's a lot of progress in general, I think, with individual players and as a team. Uh, unfortunately, uh, that last series, we didn't play as well as we'd like to. Uh, the marginals were small, but um, we got to learn from it and you know, take that with us and get into the summer. Were there a couple of players that, uh, that made significant jumps that you noticed individually? Yeah, there was a lot of guys. I think if uh, looking over the course of the season, I think, you know, if it's the younger guys, it would the Vlasic and Phillips and, you know, Reichel and towards the end there, Tepley. And then, but even some of the older guys would Luke Phillip, you know, playing his, some of his best hockey, Cini, Gust. Uh, yeah, there was a lot. I thought Arvid down the stretch here, carrying a lot of the bulk of the games. And yeah, there was a lot. What was it like to have a couple guys who turned in career years and some of them have been career changing years? A guy like David Gust who comes in and gets an NHL contract, gets some time up in the NHL. What was it like to be a part of, of some of those seasons for those guys? Well, I thought it was neat, uh, but just foremost is to happy for them and excited for them. And just, you know, our role here is to put them in situations where they can succeed and they did that and all the credit goes to them, but it's happy for them. Obviously, managing that different rotations, half, you know, halfway throughout the year with the trade deadline, different guys coming in, different guys coming out, things like that. What, you know, are some of those memorable moments that you had with the guys throughout the first part of that year, and then obviously here at the second part as well? I'm sorry, I don't. Just what, with the different yeah. changes, what were some of the most memorable moments you've had with some of the, maybe the older guys? Obviously, not yeah. the older guys, I should say, but the first half guys that may not have been here for the second half of the year. Yeah, there was a, there was some changes there at the deadline, right? So it was almost like a new group that came in. So the guys that were here all year, I give them a lot of credit. They were able to kind of stabilize the group with all the new guys coming in and kind of get everybody on track and and uh, make the little run we did there. Um, there's a lot of different moments. I don't know if I have any specific moments, and maybe I don't share them here if there are. So, <laughs> and then, uh, a report came out I think yesterday that uh, Reichel had suffered an injury during the Iowa series. Um, can you elaborate on that at all? And then, you know, do you think that hindered him at all? Obviously, going into the Texas series. Uh, I thought he played through it well. Uh, I'm not going to comment on exactly what it was. I don't know if the medical release is out yet, but uh, I thought he handled that really well and. Uh, especially as a young guy when you get injured and sometimes it's uh, you know not the easiest thing to deal with in the playoffs and the heavy series now Texas was played really heavy against him and against us and I thought he handled it well and then after obviously such a stressful season what are you looking most forward to about the off season you know getting the chance maybe to relax a little bit you know enjoy the off season what's that going to look like for you yeah I'm going to reintroduce myself to the family and <laughs> uh, you know I got four kids and a wife that's awesome so just trying to spend some time with them and you know there's a lot of things going on <laughs> what are you most proud of for this group oh that's a great question um I, I don't know if there's one thing that stands out there's a lot of growth i think again within within the group and with a lot of the players uh a whole new staff you know clink coming in 90 kind of his first full year and and you know new training staff and Kind of, I think we established a culture within that, so that was good. It was your first full year as well. What was that like for you? Uh, good. Uh, learning experience. Uh, learned a lot um, about myself. Learned a lot about how to handle uh, different situations uh, that arises that uh, maybe you're not used to. Um, so that was good. I asked uh, one of the players, you know, what playing in so many overtime games does for them as, as players. What does it do for you as a coach? Obviously, you just said you learned a lot about some of those situations. But what does that do for you, obviously, as the guy down here? Yeah, well, I'm bald already, so that wasn't an issue. Um, I think that, uh, yeah, I don't know, just dealing with it, the, the uh, composure part of it. And um, that would be the biggest thing is just taking it one day at a time and one shift at a time and one overtime at a time and, and dealing with it that way. All right, Lucas, uh, year two over here in North America, year two with uh, the Chicago organization. Looking back, how did you think it went uh, for you personally? Yeah, I feel like uh, I learned a lot. I think as a team we played 
yeah, we had a lot of like lots of up and downs, but I feel like we handled it really well, especially like uh, the trade deadline. You know, like so many guys getting traded, like friends uh, getting traded, and then new guys are coming. And I think we did a really good job, like for the new guys, like help them out. And uh, even like on the ice, we had like good chemistry. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, I think we had the team to go, yeah, far. But uh, um, yeah, Texas was a good team. So uh, I think overall we can be proud of ourselves. 50 points again for you, uh, an all-star selection, some personal accolades. How did you feel like you had played throughout the season? Yeah, I think it was good. Uh, I learned a lot, especially like away from the puck defensive zone. And uh, it was uh, yeah, a good year, all-star, uh, too, with uh, Gus Cincini. So it was uh, yeah, fun there, too. And I think yeah, when I was... When I had the chance to play for the Hawks, I think I did a yeah played played well and showed for the first time what I what I can do in a in the in the show. So uh, yeah, it was like a good year, like I said, and uh, yeah. You go maybe a little bit deeper into the some of the confidence that you picked up after playing in Chicago and having some success and and scoring some goals, producing offensively up there. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, last year I had. I had a couple games too, and uh, didn't really, like, you know, like score or something. So, uh, yeah, it was like one game against Calgary uh, when I like scored my first goal, and then it might like click, you know, like uh, then you gain confidence over the game, and uh, uh, yeah, that's how that that's how you want to play. And then uh, it was like, yeah, good that I uh, played more minutes after that too, and uh, get more chances, even first power play. So. Uh, yeah, it was a good year, but I still got a lot to learn and uh, uh, can't wait for it, too. And on top of that, you know, what are some of the things you're looking most forward to work on with your game going into the offseason? Maybe expecting a little bit more time in Chicago next year. What are, you, what are some of the things you're taking away down here in Rockford, obviously looking forward to next year? Uh, yeah, it just doesn't change like last year getting stronger. Uh, I think I'm still young, so even like... Uh, I feel like I'm a good skater, but even I can get like faster or like more explosive. So I'm I'm young, so I can improve uh, in everything. So yeah. And obviously, you got to spend some time in that NHL locker room. What are some of the similarities that you saw from this locker room down here in Rockford to that one up in Chicago as well? Yeah, I think it was like a, a mix of like older and younger guys. Uh, we had that here too, and then. Uh, you know, you you learn from the older guys, and I think even the the older guys can learn from the younger guys. So it was like a good mix, and always like fun uh, to get to the rink, uh, work out, uh, practice, and uh, um, yeah, it was always fun. One thing that we've been asking some of the guys is what uh, was their favorite memory, what their favorite moment from the season. Is there one moment, or maybe a couple moments, that uh, that stand out to you from from this season? Um, in Rockford or in Chicago? It could be either, but yeah. Um, yeah, I feel like first goal uh, f uh, with the Hawks, and yeah, especially like the game against Calgary. Uh, yeah, it was a big, big moment and a dream come through for me. Does it mean anything, you know, a little bit more extra to you to, to look around here, especially down here in Rockford as well, and just see a lot of, you know, a lot of kids wearing your name jerseys down here, Blackhawk jerseys, Icehawk jerseys. What, what does that mean? Does it mean anything a little bit more to you? Yeah, I think uh, it's always nice to see, like, especially, like, little kids, like, wearing your jersey. And uh, it's just, uh, yeah, nice seeing them. Uh, you just, like, make a signature and uh, they're happy. So, uh, uh, yeah, it's nice to see that uh, you can, yeah, like, make them happy with that. And, uh, but, uh, yeah. All I do is play hockey, and uh, uh, that's why. Yeah, that's why I do. DJ, another season here in Rockford in the books. Now that you've kind of had a, a couple of hours to to digest things a little bit, what uh, what stands out to you the most looking back? Um, I think uh, you know it was it was an incredible year with an incredible group of guys. Um, you know, I think after after the trade deadline, where things kind of were. You know, kind of all over the place. I think just the way we came together there at the end as a group in a in a pretty short bit of time. I think it uh, it speaks to the character of a lot of guys in this team. And um, you know, nothing but fond memories looking back on this group. Obviously, it's you know tough going out in three there to Texas, but um, 
you know, nothing but love and respect for the guys that are here and, and everyone that's here. It's been incredible. So, in the uh, the postseason, your line with uh, Michael Tepley and Buddy Robinson that was the third line. You guys had some outstanding games. Help win, uh, help win the Ice Hogs game too in Iowa. How much fun was that stretch in the playoffs playing with those two guys and and really being a significant factor in the in the postseason? Yeah, no, it was it was great. I mean, I felt like uh, you know for for me, I really found found my game and this playoffs, and I, th I feel like those two are a big part of it. I think, uh, you know, just playing with them, it's such a good mix of size, speed, and skill on our, on our line. We can play it however you want. We can play a physical. We, we could play a fast. And, um, you know, I think it just brought us a lot of success. I don't think there was, uh, you know, we weren't afraid of any, any real matchup or anything like that. We just kind of played our game. And, um, you know, I – those guys are unbelievable to play with, unbelievable players, great people. Um, so, yeah, it was it was a ton of fun to be a part of those games with those guys. It was good. And on top of that, we got a good glimpse of what skill set you bring to the ice day in and day out. What are some of the things you're looking to improve on, though, as the offseason gets started today? Yeah, I, I think I uh, just want to add more offensively. I feel like um, – I found a good comfort level in my defensive game. Uh, you know, I trust my reads, what I'm doing back there. I just think uh, adding offensively, um, you know, just being able to, to provide more points, more secondary scoring, I think that's a big a big thing for me I want to work on this summer and, and make sure I'm taking the next step in my game. Does a tough loss like that linger into next year at all? Does that kind of stick with you guys? And, you know, for day one of next year, you know, looking back on that one, being like, you know, we want it more, ten times more because we lost three games to Texas uh, to finish the season. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's, you know, anytime you get knocked out in the playoffs, it just adds a little more fuel to the fire there in the summer, especially training, training camp. Um, you know, I remember last year getting knocked out by Chicago. It's, it's the first time I had been in the playoffs and, and kind of learning the ropes. And this year was really, obviously I think we had a better team this year. It, um, you know, it didn't go our way. But, you know, just keep pushing on and, and get ready to go for next year for sure. Do you have any favorite moments that stick out in your mind uh, throughout the course of this season, whether it was on the ice or, or maybe just in the room or something like that with the guys? Um, favorite moments? I mean, it was, it was a lot of fun this year. Like, we had some good some good games. Like, I don't know. I, I just think being around the guys every day, like, it's, it's hard to kind of pinpoint one moment. But, um, you know, I just think this group of guys is, was really special this year. Um, you know, I – listening to Buddy Robinson, just, you know, you don't come across a group like this every year. You know, he's he's played a lot of years in, the, in this league, and um, you don't come ac across a group of people like this every year. So it's just, you know, it's tough to see that um, kind of come to an end. But, you know, we'll always look back on, on this team very fondly. If you had to pick maybe one or two words to describe how this team played throughout the season, I guess what would those, what would those words be? Um... On the spot here. I know that's that's, a, that's a, putting me on the spot for sure. I would just say relentless. I think um, you know there's so many like you know we so many times we battled back in late third period comebacks, forcing overtime, find a way to get a point. You know we did that all year. It was just um, we never stopped. You know it it didn't matter what was thrown our way. Um, you know we just kept pushing on. So I'd, I'd say relentless is a good word for us.